Aldo from Zero to Mastery here. In today's tutorial, we're diving into color themes and palettes, essential elements that instantly capture your attention on any website. Now, this isn't just any tutorial though. It's part of Jacinto's complete CSS bootcamp course available on Zero to Mastery. Are you ready to elevate your styling skills like a professional? If so, click the link in the top right hand corner or check out the description below for the full course. All right, that's it for me. Let me hand it over to Jacinto. Enjoy. Okay, so in this one, we're going to be diving into color themes and palettes. There's a number of tools online that can help you generate colors, and we're going to look at a few of them here, starting with Canva. So Canva is a platform to actually make slideshows and things like that. That is actually how I create the slideshows for the course. But they also have this great article here on color. And specifically, it has an interactive color wheel here. So I thought that that's where I would start. So this is very similar to that game that we played previously. I can drag this and it has the complementary color. You can see that there's two circles moving. The other one is moving in the opposite direction. So if I pick this green color here, the complementary color directly across from it is this purple color here. You can do the same thing with monochromatic. You can pick one color and then have another shade of that color. You can see that it's also actually changing the background color here. We can have analogous colors, so three colors that are grouped together on our color wheel here. We can have triadic, which are the three points of color here. So we have like a red, green, blue situation here when we create a triadic color. And then we can have our tetradic, which is our four different colors. You can see I can go in and remove some of that saturation, or I can go all the way out and have it be fully saturated. So you see it's a lot brighter versus it is a lot grayer as I get closer to the center. Okay, very cool. So we can use this to kind of play around and pick four colors that go together or three colors that go together or two colors that go together, etc. And then we can just click and copy the hex code here, or we can click on this filter icon and we can actually customize the color by changing the hue, saturation, or luminance. So if I drag this, you see that it's actually gonna give me a different hex code that only changes the one color at a time though, so just keep that in mind. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our next resource here, and this is the Real Time Colors website. I will provide a link to all of these resources within the course. So what's cool about this is that it allows us to visualize our colors on a real site. So you see we have our text color, our background color, our primary color, our secondary color, and our accent color. And if I click on any of them, I can get them as different values. I can get them as a hex, an RGB, or an HSL value. And if I click over here, I can copy that value. And the cool thing is I can randomize and just go through a bunch of different options by clicking this dice icon here. I can also use spacebar, and then I can scroll through and see a whole website that is using this color palette, which gives me an idea of how I should combine all of these colors that I can just go ahead and copy into my own project. Okay, very cool. The other great thing about this is it allows me to switch between a dark and a light mode. You can see that that actually changed my colors a little bit here. It made them a little more muted. And I can still flip this to try to find colors that are good in my dark mode project. Okay, awesome. All right, and the next resource we're going to go to is coolers.co. So you might recognize this screen from my introduction slideshow. And this is another great resource. What I specifically like about this, instead of having to create random palettes, we can actually explore trending palettes. So these are palettes that have been generated by users that are very popular. 
So we can actually scroll through these. You can see that there are a lot of different palettes here, a lot of ones to choose from. And we're gonna go back up to the top and I specifically like this one right here. So any one that you like, you can click on the three dots and you can go ahead and click open palette. You could also explore similar and some other features here as well. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and open the palette there. And you can see that as we hover over, we have our hex code for each and we can click to copy our hex code value. We can also get it in different formats as well, RGB or HSL values. But the great thing about this being generated for us is we don't really need to understand the hex code. We can just take the hex value that it is giving us and you can even see it's kind of suggesting which ones should use black text and which ones should use white text. Okay, very cool. And one other thing I wanted to show from this website as well, they also have a palette visualizer. So this is very similar to the real-time colors website that we looked at just now. It allows you to see a template of what your color palette will look like. You can see that we have our colors right here on the side. And I can go ahead and click generate to switch between different palettes. And I could decrease the amount of colors. Let's say I only wanted three colors. And I can generate a three color palette there. Or I can go back up to five and keep generating. And you'll see there's other designs here as well. And even more. I really like this dashboard example. It's a great showcase of how you could use these five colors in a really cool and practical way here. Really like that as well. And then they even have some t-shirt designs, things like that, that you can experiment with color palettes as well. Okay, very cool. Now we're gonna go to our CodePen project. I have provided this starter template for you to work off of. So you can see we have a simple website built here with HTML. And you'll notice that we have our color classes already made, color one, two, three, four, and five. And basically the goal is going to be for you to pick a five color palette and try to combine it to make the best looking website mock-up that you can. If we open up our CSS pane, we see we have some other CSS here, but at the bottom, we have our color one, two, three, four, and five. We have our background color set to initial. This one uses a color value as well. This is set to initial. And then we have our color white or color black. Depending on the color you're going to choose, you might need to switch those around based on the palette. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this palette. This is the one that I like the best. And I'm going to click to copy that hex code value. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put it in as my color number one. Okay, I needed to add the hashtag and then I paste it in. Okay, so we're off to a good start there. And I'm gonna go back and I'm going to grab the darker color next. I'm gonna use this for the header that is right there. And I'm gonna paste that in. Again, I need to add my hashtag. Okay, and that darker color contrasts nicely. For my header, it stands out a bit more. And then next, I'm going to add my third color. I'm gonna go ahead and add the darkest color. This is going to be my color number three. And this is for my text here. It was black before, and now it is a very dark green instead. And we have two more to grab here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, maybe I'll just grab one of these actually. We're gonna leave out the sandier, lighter color here. And we're just going to grab this one. This one's going to be my color number five. You can mix and match these. You don't have to use all five, but I am going to also change this one. So we have a button here with a background color. 
I'm going to actually use the same color as my color three for this so that this kind of matches this text here. It's all kind of one section, so it makes sense for those to have the same color. I hope that you are happy with the color palette that you've chosen as well. And I'm sure that you can see the value in using these tools. It helps create a palette that is cohesive and professional looking without you having to do all of the legwork yourself of inventing a color palette on your own. And there you have it, folks. A big thank you to Jacinto for guiding us through this lesson. Want to dive even deeper? Well, lucky for you, there's a whole lot more to learn in Jacinto's complete CSS bootcamp course, which you probably already know where to find. Link in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials from Jacinto and other expert Zero to Mastery instructors. Alright, that's it from me. Keep coding, keep styling, and I'll see you in the next one.